but I'm glad you only had the press conference, sir. Uh oh, it's over. Uh, did you watch it on TV? No, I wanted to, but I was out. I had lunch with Celia. Was it really rough? I swear the local press corps have to be descended from vultures. However, I got through it. How was lunch? It was fun. We talked about school for hours and we finally caught up on everything. I think we're back on the same wavelength we always were. Celia is indeed quite a girl. She is. I've forgotten how enthusiastic she can be about everything. Oh, that reminds me. We talked about uh, throwing a party, a housewoman. Oh, who's housewoman? Look. Ours. I hope you don't mind. No, not at all. I think it's a, it's a wonderful idea. Uh, when were you thinking of uh, giving it? Uh, tomorrow, actually. Holly, isn't this a little sudden? Well, that's what I thought at first, but as Celia said, it's those last-minute parties that always work out the best. Okay, well, what are we talking about here? A few friends? Or... Well, perhaps a few more. You've got to get all this done by tomorrow night. Now, that's, that's a lot of work. Can you do it? Are you kidding? You haven't seen Celia once she gets going. I mean, we were right in the restaurant. She's calling the caterer and the florist. Are you sure you don't mind? No, not at all. Hell, that's a great idea. It's about time we had a bit of fun around here. Yes, it's great. Who, uh, who are you asking? Well, that is my department. All you have to do tomorrow night is open the door, be surprised, and have a ball. Well. Robert, don't you think it's rather rude that the hostess keeps everyone waiting at her own party? You should know. <laughs> <laughs> I love the strategy. It's one of my favorite. I'm, I love to make grand entrances. Well, as a matter of fact, I've been thinking of slipping upstairs to see what's keeping her. <laughs> well, you don't have to. You can see her from here. What are you doing? I'm clearing up. Look, I've got somebody coming in to do that in the morning. Please sit down. Okay, so. Hi. Oh. It was fun, wasn't it? And very successful. I think so. Yeah, well, hey, you were responsible for that. I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I just enjoyed myself. Well, that's the secret of having fun. Look, if everybody sees that uh, you're having fun, they just want to join in. When in Rome... Uh, uh, somebody once said that. <laughs> You're some hostess. Well, I, I had a little practice. A long, long time ago. Uh, seems like a million years. I was very proud of you tonight. Thank you, sir. Yeah, well... This is time for bed. Crime doesn't go on a holiday just because the police commissioner doesn't want to come in in the morning. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. How, do you, yeah. how do you make the room move like that? Is that a riddle? Ah, let me think. Uh, give it a lot to drink. Oh. You know, seriously, I never thought this sort of thing could be so much fun. Well, surprise, surprise. No, 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 I mean it. Uh, I, mean, I always thought, looked upon it as a bit of an obligation, a kind of a necessary evil. Oh. What a sacrifice you poor public officials have to make. Mm. Going to parties yeah. and rescuing. Oh, rescuing them. Yeah, steady as she goes there. <laughs> How much have you had to drink? One too many. Only one. Well, I, after the first one, I sort of lost count. You know, it occurs to me. I, re <laughs> <laughs> I really would like to see you tipsy. Well... Look very closely. No, 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 I, I mean, I mean really loose. This is it. After this, I pass out. That sounds interesting. No, it's very boring, actually. I just go to sleep. Which is exactly what I intend to do for the next 24 hours. Good night. Wonderful evening. Thank you for having me.
Hi, love. Just came from uh, Mayor Everett's office. He's promised to do everything he can to help me uh, shut down Scotty. Good. When the man decides to act, he doesn't fall about. Any messages? Captain Ramsey called to say he's on his way to his appointment with you. Fine. And Connie was here. Who? Just tell Robbie Connie was here, end quote. Connie? Connie? <laughs> you can't mean Connie Townley. She's at the Harbour Towers. Are you sure you got the name right here? Constance Townley is in Port Charles. Very much so. You're to call her at the Harbour Towers. I'm amazed. So was she when she found out you were married. Oh, yeah, yeah, she would be. Actually, I would say stunned was probably a better word for her reaction. Well, I can explain that. Uh, don't. Please, there's no need. Look, but uh, I, Connie and I just simply work together. Right, for the WSB. Yeah, um, naturally, of course, we became close friends. Uh, yes, naturally. <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? Oh, was I smiling? I didn't know. <laughs> You're doing something that I've never seen you do before. What? You're blushing. That is, uh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> I have never blushed in my life, and why would I start blushing now? I have no idea. But your red face is very becoming. Look, Holly, I, I, I want to explain here don't. about... Con what do you mean, don't? I mean, it's nothing dire. Uh, what I mean is, our marriage is in name only. That arrangement eliminates the need to explain anyone. Hello, Holly. Nice to see you. Come on in, Robert. Just go ahead. Commissioner, how are you? Hiya, Bert. I'm sorry to bother you like this, but I really want to wrap up a final report on the Susan Baldwin case. Oh, it's fine. Um, as a matter of fact, I spoke to the mayor today, and he oh. read the preliminary report, and I told him we were closing the case. Good. Uh, shall I get that? Yeah, please. Now, look, I've made some notes, and if you'll look them over with me, if you're okay, then I guess that'll wrap the whole thing up. Sounds good. Hello? Just one moment, please. On this point here, now, but if you just take it from uh, the way I... Excuse me? Yeah. The phone. It's for you, Robbie. I really should get my camera. Don't waste the film. Seriously, this should be recorded. How our suave commissioner swings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I hope I didn't waken you. No, we've been up for hours. Oh, that makes me feel better. Robbie available? Available? Mm -hmm. yeah, he's here, at least. Uh, c come in. Robbie! Constant Townley wants to know if you're available. Well... If that includes kind of sweaty and touch relieved, the answer is yes. So that's how you preserve that gorgeous body, huh? Drat. The secret is out. Oh, don't be embarrassed. I'm not. This table's all right? Mm -hmm. Fine. Your waiter will be with you in just a second. Thank you. You tell me. What does the WSB want with Port Charles? Well, they're looking for a connection between four cities. Um, Topeka, Los Angeles, Boston, and Port Charles. What kind of a connection? Anything of interest to enemy operatives in foreign countries. Oh. No, don't get up. Sorry, we're Thank late. You. We parked up the block, and Celia just had to stop in one of the shops. Well, I found this most <laughs> marvelous outfit. It's a gorgeous chiffon number. I, what it's doing in this town, I'll never know. If only I'd parked closer to the restaurant. Think of the money I could have saved. Oh, there he goes again, worrying about money. Not worry, darling, just concern. Well, I thought I'd let you uh, select the wine, Grant. Wonderful. Oh, no, don't be silly. He doesn't know a thing about it. <laughs> now, let's see here. <clears throat> Ah, Mersal, yes. And a lovely year. Number 12, Robert. Thank you. Uh, waiter. Uh, the, uh, Mersal number 12, thank you. Yes, sir. 
Robert and I were wondering if you've set the date yet. Well, not the exact date, but we're working on it. All we talk about, isn't it, darling? Yes. Uh, did you two have a large wedding? No, no, just a few friends at the mayor's office. Yeah, my fault, actually. The uh, police commissioner's job sort of uh, caught me on the hop, and I hardly had room to breathe. Uh, did it really matter? After all, what's important is being happy, in love, convinced that it's the right thing. Oh, I can't think of any better reason. Yeah, and I can't think of a better example than you two. I just hope that Celia and I can be half as happy as the two of you obviously are. To the uh, future bride and groom. A long and happy life together. Yeah. Uh, shall I order another bottle of wine? A marvelous idea. I think that uh, marriage is basically just a symbol of love. Oh, sure, it represents the unity of two lives, but it's also a symbolic gesture. All of it. The rings, the service, the vows, go beyond just the surface. I think that nowadays, too many people think of marriage as just an excuse to have a party. Well, not a bad reason. Mm. <laughs> and just look at the divorce rate. There's no commitment. Uh, waiter, uh, may I have another bottle of wine? I want... Please. I want my marriage to be as perfect as yours and Robert's is, Holly. That's very nice. And we couldn't agree with you more. Well, then, let me propose a toast with what's left of our wine to Holly and Robert. A long and happy life together. Holly. Well, I mean, what else could I do? I see you look so uncomfortable. She, she did. Yeah, she did, didn't she? Uh, Holly, uh, I'd like to, uh, apologize for the, um, uh, uh, hand-kissing bit and, and the act in general. Oh, I understand. I mean, we have to keep up appearances. I mean, if he hadn't been so insistent on the sanctity of marriage, well, um, well, I never would have done it. Oh, I know that. Um, uh, look, Holly, uh... What? Well, you weren't too uncomfortable, were you? Oh, no, no. I just wish he hadn't asked so many questions. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, um, look, I've, I've done something, <clears throat> and I feel I should get it over with uh, right now. For some time, I've felt that you should have a ring. I actually bought this uh, a while back. But after tonight, well, I... I realize that you'll probably realize it's just, well, for um, appearances' sake. Thanks, Robert. Sure. Well, I guess I should go in and check my messages and start on this uh, WSB business. Right. Uh, good night, then. Good night. <laughs> 